I'm Dr. Andy Jackson, and I've been leading biblical tours in Turkey for many years. But today is a very, very special day because I'm going to be meeting a very close friend of mine, Dr. Mark Wilson, who's the author of a very popular book called Biblical Turkey. 20 years ago, we journeyed through Turkey together, and now we have an opportunity to go and explore the ancient Greco-Roman city of Ephesus. I'm sitting here in a beautiful location near the Aegean Sea. It's the bay of the modern city of Izmir. And this is Biblical Smyrna. lot of anticipation to meet Mark and also to have you and invite you to join us on this really unique time of exploring Ephesus. Oh, there's Mark now. Mark! Andy, so good great to, to see, see you again. Man. It's been so long. Yeah, I can't, I'm Turkey. so excited. 20 years ago, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Times move so fast. That we're the first time we traveled together through Turkey. You remember that? Yeah, absolutely. That was my first time in Turkey. I was just beginning my own doctoral studies, working on the seven churches on the other side of that now. And as you know, in 2004, Dindy and I moved here to this city, ancient Smyrna. Lived here six years, and now we're in Antalya. So it's been an amazing journey for us. And it all started right here with you in 1992 on that trip. We still look good. <laughs> we keep I'm really looking forward to this trip together, to discovering and exploring Ephesus with you. Well, it's going to be a great journey, so yeah. let's head down there now. Yeah, absolutely. We? Let's okay. get going. Mark, you know, both of us have been lived in Israel and studied the life of Jesus and the Gospels, but it's amazing to me how many people do not realize that Turkey really is the focus of the New Testament. Yeah, two-thirds of the New Testament is either written to or from Turkey. Yeah. You know, we have most of Paul's missionary journeys taking place here. And of course, here in Western Turkey, we've got the seven churches of Revelation. So, uh, so much New Testament takes place in this wonderful land. Absolutely, this is such a beautiful land. You know, just 10 years ago, a majority of Turks didn't even know that they were living in the land of the New Testament. I remember that. One story, I don't know if I've told you, but uh, I have a friend who was driving through Turkey maybe 15 years ago, and he picked up a Turkish hitchhiker, and he was talking to him, and the t hitchhiker asked my friend, well, what are you doing here? And he said, well, we're driving through the journeys of Paul, the Apostle Paul, and he goes, well, the hitchhiker goes, well, who's the Apostle Paul? And he goes, well, he's one of the main leaders in the New Testament. And then my friend asked him, well, where do you live in Turkey? And he goes, Tarsus. Yeah, Paul's hometown. Paul's hometown. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that kind of a good example at that time. It's getting much better though. Absolutely. Well, let's take off. Yeah. Mark, as we explore Ephesus, there's going to be a lot of topics that we're going to be able to discuss. And I know one of the topics I wanted to focus in on is the three years of ministry that Paul spent in Ephesus, the longest he spent anywhere in any city. Uh, and so I'm really looking ex excited to, to look more into his three years of ministry there. Yeah, I agree. We've got a great adventure ahead. One of the things I'm looking forward to is our visit to Patmos where John received the revelation. So yeah. sometimes get a little seasick, but I hope we'll yeah, make I'm it look, okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that boat trip. And then just how John received the book of Revelation and also the seven churches of the book of Revelation. And, uh, you know, I think that is very important as we talk about and as we travel into Patmos and we go down to Laodicea to discuss a lot about on the seven churches of Revelation. Yeah, and so after Paul dies, uh, John becomes the leading figure uh, in the church in Ephesus. Yeah. yeah, and I think just the fact that Ephesus is the center of early Christianity and Biblical Christianity, and there's so much that will be applied to uh, our own faith today. Overcoming in our faith, 
not being conformed to the culture around us. So I think that we're just going to have a lot of topics to discuss, and it's really going to be a rich time. I agree. It's going to be a great time. Yes. Thank you.